Let's react to some slap. But first, imagine an amazing intro. Because I've been sick and have no motivation, but here we go! Slow mo. Cause I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'ma do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks. I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make. Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my messages are kinda so they put them on display. Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty. I have a sense of urgency. A message for eternity for everyone internally. I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn to see. I ain't the one to fuck with. Now they looking nervously, and I don't really care what you think of me respectfully. You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better. See, I will outwork you, turn you to an enemy. Hurt you so bad that you're gonna need some therapy. I got the motherfucking recipe. I've been cooking up hits. I'ma leave a legacy. You'll be looking small when you're standing right next to me. I'm five ten, bitch, but I'm ten feet. Introducing in the first match of the day, we have Jonathan taking on Delvin. Jonathan's coming in at an age of 34, a height of 6'3", and a weight of 256 pounds. Delvin's coming in at an age of 29, a height of 6 foot, and a weight of 216.5 pounds. Ooh, get more excited than what Dana looks like because we got new heavyweights. One of them is on the low end, and the other one's on the high end of the scale, so this should be interesting. Jonathan won the coin flip, and he's chosen to go right hand on three so let's see what he has he kind of has like a iron giant-esque type slap style Two. Oh! holy crap delvin just got hit so hard he tried to do a trust fall with the ref and then remembered he's here for slap fighting but did you hear that slap that was vicious but unfortunately he got himself a stepping penalty and it's unfortunate because it was such a beautiful slap too what the hell was that noise you made before the slap sounded like a race car flyby am i wrong though but it looks like delvin can handle that just fine and he has chosen to go right hand on three so let's see how his slap is after being rattled like that Oh my goodness, Buddy just threw a wrecking ball upside his head. And the sound of that smack. God damn. It was more of a crack. That's a fucking great fight. Dana, I have to disagree. They have great slaps, but both of them have got stepping penalties. Knockdowns aren't the only thing that make it a great fight for me. You also need clean strikes with no fouls. But they are absolute cannons of slaps. But if either one of them get another penalty, the match is over. But now it's Jonathan's turn, and let's see if he can keep his feet planted, because he has a crazy good slap. Two. Ooh, that was a heavy slap, but the intensity was not the same as that first one. You can tell he's rattled a little bit from that shot from Delvin, but it was a really nice strike. It was a touch high, but not anything illegal, and it was a great follow through. That's the evilest look I've ever seen on Dana's face. He looks like he's about to plot to take over something. I'm not a doctor, but my professional opinion is someone should keep an eye on Dana. You can tell by Jonathan's face, he's concerned about it too, but it's Delvin's second shot so let's try to distract ourselves from dana's evil plots Two. oh my god that was a shotgun blast upside his head it's over he's not getting up that's done damn and it's over congratulations delvin on your victory and that was a beautiful slap and listen to this And Dana, you can say it now. This is a fucking great fight. In our second matchup, we have Zach taking on Frederico. Zach's coming in at an age of 33, a height of 5'10, and a weight of 169 pounds. And shout out that 69. Frederico's coming in at an age of 34, a height of 5'7, and a weight of 171 pounds. Oh, wow. Your whole life, dude. I absolutely love how much the Hawaiians have so much passion and love for the island. I don't think I've ever seen a Hawaiian competitor that wasn't proud of their island background. But I guess when you live in one of the places that everybody else on the planet wants to go to, I could see why you'd be passionate about it and love it so much. But Zach won the coin flip and chose to go right hand on three. Good hit, brother. Like it was that's a club where's the penalty that wasn't a clean blow look at this shit 
Bro almost palmed the top of his head like a basketball. I don't know whose wife Frederico slept with, but he pissed somebody off because that is a club, at least with my understanding of the rules. What do you think? But now it's Frederico's turn and he chose right hand on three. Bro just made this man take two steps right like he was square dancing, but they called him for flinching, and he definitely flinched, but that was no matter what going to be a club. So Frederico got away with one there. But this is another example of why clubbing is bad. It's not always the person that's receiving the club, like he now injured his wrist because he hit the wrist off the side of the head. And yes, it wasn't technically a club, because last time I said this, the comments went absolutely berserk. He didn't get called for a clubbing, but even if the guy did didn't flinch in my opinion that arm was too far deep for it to be a clean blow that's why i said he got away with one but he gets another shot for flinching so put your pitchforks away and he's chosen left hand on three two Ooh, and that was an absolutely horrible shot. No offense. Not only did you step, you also clubbed the shit out of him. But they only got Frederico with stepping. So we get to continue. Ooh, and that shot looked like it actually hurt Frederico. But it looked like it might have been a little high. From this angle, it looks better, though. They did call him for stepping, and it's funny because one foot lifted, the other one pivoted. This match is turning out to be the match Power Slap is going to use as an example for new recruits on what not to do during your match. Because these guys have almost done it all. Frederico needs to just, like, drop kick a referee. Spice it up a little bit. But he's going to try again with his right hand. Two. Ooh, and that sounded like a good slap. But it wasn't clean. It was another club. So that means he's DQ'd, and that's the end of the match. That's two striker fouls. That's a clubbing and a stepping. And with it only being a three-round match, you're only allowed to have two. Thanks both for competing, and congratulations, Zach, on your win. I can't wait to see more from you. Because I don't give a fuck what you say. Yeah, I'm going to do shit my way. So you can go kick rocks, I'ma stack bricks up, build what I want to make Yo, I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay Cause my messages are timeless, so they put them on display Oh yeah, I rap with a certainty, I have a sense of urgency A message for eternity, for everyone internally I had some people burning me, but now they fucking learn to see I ain't the one to fuck with, now they looking nervously And I don't really care what you think of me respectfully You can kick rocks if you think you're fucking better, see I will outwork you, turn you to an enemy Hurt you so bad that you're gonna need some therapy I got the motherfucking recipe I've been cooking up hits, I'ma leave a legacy You'll be looking small when you're standing right next to me I'm 5'10", bitch, but I'm 10 feet next to you Thanks for watching, and if you haven't already Slap that like button, slap that subscribe button And I will see you in the next one